Hi there, I'm Lindsay Davis. I'm excited to partner with Good Morning America for GMA Reading Room. And this is just a chance for parents to have a break, a much needed reprieve in the midst of these busy quarantine days and know that it's a healthy break where your child is still reading and learning and exploring. So I have actually written two books. Uh, they were both inspired by my son, Aiden. The first one is called The World is Awake a celebration of everyday blessings. And this one, I think my son was about three years old and he said, mommy, does God open up the flowers? And I thought that that was so interesting that he had this curiosity about who God is and his place in nature. And so this was my attempt to kind of give a gentle introduction to who God is through the world around us. And so here we go, the world is awake. This is the day the Lord has made a butterfly floats through the sun in the shade while dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. And the bees, busy bees are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. Just look at the sunrise that's painted the sky and look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake, it's a wonderful place, alive with God's power and glad with his grace. Out in the yard just waiting today are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere and all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. It's in praise of the Lord that the trees grow so tall, the grass grows so green, and the flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God dressed us up too, like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water and sunshine and summer days too, and you, beautiful, beautiful you. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling a song. I love zebras and lions and elephants too. Pandas and penguins and owls that call whoo. Peacocks and, panda, peacocks and panthers are great mountain sheep and that grumpy old bear who was trying to sleep. Down at the zoo, they're all on parade, the wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. My belly sounds like that bear when it growls. It's time for supper, my tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. At supper time, I take my chair and bow my head and say a prayer to thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed, for milk and juice and bread and cheese, for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good, I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. And with my belly full, I start to yawn. The light outside is almost gone. Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love in the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight, and far above the moon shines bright. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep. Calling me down to a dreamy sleep, calling me down to dream and sleep. All right, that is The World is Awake. And now we're gonna read my second book, One Big Heart. And One Big Heart is a celebration of being more alike than different. And also this was inspired by uh, me wanting to give this message to my son of, of realizing that yes, um, we have a lot of differences. Um, in this human race, but there are a number of ways that we are a lot more alike than we are different. And so one big heart. In one itty bitty corner of our great big world is our teeny tiny classroom filled with happy boys and girls. 
Each one of us is different, because what fun would it be if I looked like my classmates and they all looked like me? Our faces make a rainbow, lots of colors all around, shades of tan and melon skin and even chocolate brown. Some are missing two front teeth while others smile with dimples. God made each of us unique. It really is that simple. Some have wavy hair on top while others wear their straight. Some sport afros, twists, or braids. I think my puff looks great. Juan is short and Reed is tall. We're every shape and size. Some have freckles on their nose and some have bright blue eyes. God gave us different bodies that can do amazing things. With one arm, Elle does cartwheels and my friend Amanda sings. Sam loves telling stories and wants to learn to read. Noah wears a bright red cape and runs with super speed. Mila plays a princess with a long pink ruffly dress. Asher likes to jump and splash and often makes a mess. The bell rings and we head outside for recess in the sun. Our giggles and our laughter show we all like having fun. I see those smiling faces and understand today we're more alike than different in many special ways. We each have rhythm deep inside that makes us want to move. We love to run and jump around and find our playground groove. Back inside for music, we bop to every beat. We wiggle and dance sideways. We clap and stomp our feet. And afterward, it's lunchtime, our favorite time of day. No matter what we choose to eat, our taste buds shout hooray. Each of us is curious. We can't wait to explore. We ask a lot of questions and then we ask some more. We all like to imagine and let our minds run free to draw or write or dream about what we'll grow up to be. We all have great big feelings that don't always stay inside. Sometimes we've gotten angry. Sometimes we've sat and cried. Then a friend will cheer us up and fill our lives with joy. We all need friends who give us hugs or share a favorite toy. But the way we're most alike, the most important part, God gave us all a special gift. We each have one big heart. We've got a lot of elbows, we've got a lot of hands, we've got eyes to help us see and feet so we can stand. But the thing that matters most is something we can't see, the touch of God that's inside you and also inside me. That's the place where kindness grows and where love gets its start. Deep down in our pumping, thumping, one big heart. And that is it. I hope that you all enjoyed this time of reading these books and enjoy this time at home with your families.